Okay, so evening all. Hope everyone out there is having a fantastic day and welcome to another episode of The Viking Beard with me, Matt. And as you probably, hopefully should know by now, I'm trying to grow my way to a big epic style Viking beard, nice, big, thick and bushy. First time in my life I've tried to seriously grow a beard. So what I'm going out and doing is sourcing various different products. Products have started being sent through to me so I can have a look at give them a try and give you my opinion on them. Now, with this channel, I'm not affiliated to any of these companies whatsoever, or stuff that I go out and source, and it's gonna be completely honest. It's all my opinion, and I'm not affiliated to anyone. So if there's a product that I don't particularly like or never gonna use, I'm gonna say, nah, not for me, don't really like it. If it's all right, I'm gonna go, yeah, it's kind of all right stuff. And if it's fantastic, I'm gonna say that it's fantastic, okay? And that's a cool thing nowadays. We can all have our different opinions on stuff, stuff that we love, stuff that we hate. So something I might love, you might hate. Something you might love, I might hate. So we're all entitled to our own opinions. So this evening, let's just have a glug of coffee before I start. Been a long old day. Oh, brilliant stuff. So the guys at Twisted Moustache have sent me through a little box. This turned up a day or so ago. And so I know exactly what's in the box. I've used it a few times, so I know exactly what it's like. This isn't just an unboxing. Well, technically, I am opening a box to show you what they've sent through. So, yeah. Now, during this video, I'm going to be talking about the packaging, the price, the product itself. Um, afterwards, there's all going to be links down below to all their social media stuff, their website, where you can go and check these guys out and have a look at. So, here we go. So a little box I got sent through. So we shall open it up and see what we got. Now inside there is a business card with all of their social media platforms and everything on it. So I'd like to say I'll put links down in the comment box, wherever that is down below. So that's Twisted Moustache. They've also sent me through a sticker. And stickers are always nice. Nice to have a sticker, put it on the mirror. And inside they've sent me through a selection of oils, which we'll have a look at in a second. I'm just going to take them out of the box. And inside the box we've got some of that black squiggly, wormy uh, cardboard. So first of all, we'll have a look at the products. Now the products that they've sent through is they've sent dun dun dun, a couple of sample beard oils and a couple of regular beard oils. Okay, so this is what they've sent through. Now... What we're going to talk about and have a look at is the packaging first. So with the samples, it's quite nice with companies, especially if you're new to this whole grand beer thing, which I kind of, well, it doesn't look like it, but I am relatively and still out there on a quest to find something that I really like and love and kind of want to use forever rather than hopping from brand to brand to brand to brand. So I want to find the best ones that I like out there. So it's nice that a company does a sample pack. Because the last thing you want to do is go out and fork out a lot of money on something, take it home and go, well, that's not really good. I don't particularly like that. So I, I do appreciate that companies that do these little samples, you can send off a little bit of money, get a sample through, use it for a day, a couple of days, see what you think of it before shelling out the money to buy something big. Because we're all on a budget nowadays and the last thing you want to do is go out and waste money on something that you don't like. So, yeah. Now, the actual oil themselves, these guys are 100% natural, organic, and it's a premium oil as well. Um, they have their cosmetic safety assessment report, and they're also licensed to sell on the EU as well, which is cool. And the company itself is quite a small little company, a husband and wife, bless them. And I'm finding nowadays that the smaller companies are kind of bigger than some of these big companies. Because with the big companies, as you know, it starts developing from the initial little tiny products up into more sales and profit and stuff like that. Whereas when you kind of start out and you're doing something personal and you're trying to sell sell it in a big flooded marketplace, because I mean, let's face it at the moment, the whole beard and hair and face stuff for men now is kind of like the products are like loads of different brands out there now. So when people do start these little businesses, they're more kind of caring about the product and what's in them to make them good in order to compete with the higher companies that are more profit based. I'm not saying that's the same with every company or whatever, but I'm tending to find that, So, which is nice. 
So we've got two of these through and we've got two bottles through. Now the prices are, and I'll just pop these to one side so I don't block up what you see. For a packet of four, the little samples, we'll talk about the scents in a second, is £3.99. Which is nice that you can try all four of them if you want to for a minimal amount to see what you like and see whether you like them. And then they do the larger bottles, which is £15.99. Not ridiculously expensive, not ridiculously cheap for a premium oil. That's not bad at all at £15.99 a bottle, considering this is husband and wife company that make this stuff. And right, yeah, so let's have a look at the packaging itself. Kind of quite a nice little logo. I hope you can see that. All the various directions and ingredients and stuff like that on the back. Quite nice. Like the fact that it's a glass bottle and it's got these little rubber pipettes on them because I have noticed with a couple of the beer doors I've got, they've got those little shaker bits on there and they don't really come out. You sit there and uh, oil splashing everywhere. So I do like that. Now, these guys primarily at the moment are concentrating on the beard oils. They also do combs and brushes, caps, and they are looking at releasing um, the same sorts of scents, but in balms, and that's coming out soon. So in the meantime, we've got the oils. Now, they've got four flavours out of them, or four scents, not flavours, you don't eat the things. Four scents out at the moment. They've got the Handlebar Joker, which is cedarwood, ylang ylang, and grapefruit. They've got your English Gem, which is patchouli, pine needle and bergamot. Also got Chevron Fella, which is sweet orange, cedarwood and cardamom. And they do one called a Standard Lad, which is unscented. Because sometimes you just want an oil on your beard to condition it, make it all nice and your skin nice and soft and everything without smelling like I don't know what for the rest of the day. So... What we'll do is we'll go through each scent individually, so you can have a look. This one, as you can see, is a Handlebar Joker. Let me just check that is right, I haven't got the glasses on. Yeah, this one is the Handlebar Joker. My eyesight's getting worse as I'm getting older, so sorry guys. So let's have a look. This one, we'll talk about the scents now. Car uh, cedarwood, ylang ylang, and grapefruit. Let's open it up. I'm not so I've used these so I know what they kind of smell like. I'm just now with this, I've noticed the predominant scent that you're getting through is a cedar wood, which is quite nice. I do like my woody sorts of smell to it. Then it's kind of a very small ylang ylang sort of flowery sort of scent in the middle. And then you're kind of getting a really sort of citrusy burst at the end of it. So it almost comes in waves. You don't just smell sort of some mixture of flavour or scents going off at once. You can almost smell the scents individually, which is quite nice. So that is the Handlebar Joker. We also have the Chevron Fella, which is this one which is allegedly sweet orange, cedarwood, and cardamom. This one up, have it smell. This one is slightly richer than that one. That's kind of quite a lighter, sort of, kind of quite a relaxed scent. This one's a bit more, shall I say, punchier and a bit more rich in scent. De definitely detecting that sweet orange. That's almost kind of like you've cut open a, a certain ball of orange chocolate that you might get around Christmas time and Easter time, you know what I'm talking about. Kind of that sort of sweet orange, which is nice. And with the other one, the cedar wood was kind of like, as I smelt it, the predominant scent on it. This one seems to have taken sort of more of the middle to back sort of scent on it. And there is a very, very slight hint of cardamom coming through like the little cardamom pods. And I like that, that this one almost has like a chocolatey sort of scent to it. It's quite a rich, almost like a winter time sort of smell, which is nice because I am at the moment trying to source, as we're coming out through the end of summer and into autumn and into winter, I am trying to find a nice winter kind of spicy sort of scent because I do like my woodies and outdoor stuff. I do like my sweet stuff, but I'm now looking at, as well at kind of like, almost like, pumpkin spice and stuff like that but this this is nice I like this one so we have the other one as well which is the 
unscented one, so there's no real point in smelling an unscented one because I'm not going to smell anything. The other one is the English Gent, which is this one. And that one is allegedly patchouli, pine needle and bergamot. Let's try and take this out. Oh, here we go. And the smell of this one. Definitely pine needle. You're definitely smelling the pine needle and that patchouli, the patchouli through. They're kind of balanced out in those sense that the patchouli and the pine needle are kind of level and the bergamot is tight, kind of like the undertone of it. And I do like having a scent that comes through in layers that you can smell sort of like the high stuff, the low stuff and the medium stuff and not just suddenly bleh, it's sort of just scent everywhere. So, which is nice. They've almost seemed like they've layered the scents in that and done a really good job of blending that, which is, which is nice. Now with the scents themselves, would I say they're a punchy in your face smell, medium smell, or can hardly smell the stuff. Let's go back to uh, Chevron Falls. And that one, the word hooker. They're kind of like a medium scent. I do like punchy scents. I, I like scents that kind of like you put them on and you can smell them. And I do like the medium ones as well because sometimes you don't want a face full of kind of scent 24-7. But it's kind of like in between that. It's not punchy, it's not in the middle, it's enough that you can smell it. Now I have used this and like I've said in other videos, I do work in kind of quite a hot, sweaty, sticky environment. And it's interesting to see how different scents perform perform because sometimes you put it on your beard within 10 minutes can't smell it anymore this lasted a good while lasted a couple of hours and a nice thing with this as well that I've noticed although it's not sense that I would necessarily go out and purchase myself that it's nice when you're kind of surprised by something that you kind of think all right it's not what I want but you smell something you go I actually quite like that and the more you smell it you go I actually like that quite a lot so I've almost changed my taste from stuff that I was really out for, my strong pungent outdoor smells, my sweet smells and Halloween-y smells to kind of like, almost like having now an open mind about different scents that I am smelling. And I do like this quite a lot. And I think at £15.99 for 30 mils is not bad. Glass bottles as well, I think is a good, good deal. It's not hyper expensive, it's not dirt cheap. And I think for the set of four samples, you can't go wrong at £3.99, try it before you buy it really. So what I'm going to do is, since I've come home and washed, look I've nearly got my beard laying straight today. I'm actually learning how to style it properly. So we'll have a look at the oil itself, almost kind of like a yellowy off yellow to almost clear sort of colour. A few drops in the palm. It's, it's not ridiculously thin and it's not ridiculously thick and gloopy. Have a look at my hands. Slight shine to it, nothing ridiculously over shiny and greasy. And stuff some of it through the old face fur. Because I've noticed as well with a lot of scents that you kind of smell it out of the bottle and when the bottle's been cold and when you start warming it up you smell different things. And let's say I have used this this morning and I've used it again now and I used it yesterday and it's pretty good. It absorbs into the skin well, it absorbs into the hair well. It's not horrible and greasy because there's nothing worse than I bought, I did buy an oil. I'm, I might review it actually in another one coming up and it was horrendous. It was literally like putting crisp and dry on your beard. Um, but this is really nice, we're not talking about that, we're talking about this one. It's a really nice one and I do like that scent of it and it's quite a nice medium -y sort of scent coming up into the nose, not ridiculously punchy, knock you out smell, not, I can't smell anything now, but nice medium to, and it's nice as well when you walk into work or you're outside and you suddenly get a br sort of breeze blow through your beard and you get the scents in your face, up your nose. Last little bit on the tattoo, bring them out, because it's good for the skin as well. So yeah, it's keeping the skin soft, 
uh, just make the beard shiny, a bit more manageable, keeping a bit of those flyaway hairs through. Be interesting to see what these guys are like when the beard bums comes out. I don't know about the combs and brushes and stuff like that, but just talking about their oil primarily, yeah, it's pretty good. So let's rate it out of 10. Now this is always the hardest part because I do give honest opinions. Put the cap back on that, don't want to knock it everywhere. So zero, don't want to touch it again with a stinky stick. Five, kind of medium. 10, absolutely fantastic. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rate these. Like I say, this is all my opinion and 100% honest not affiliated with these guys whatsoever, is I'm going to score it at around about... Nine out of ten. The reason I'm scoring this nine out of ten and so highly is because it's a different scent that I would go out and buy myself. And they're actually both... the. The three scents, I do like my woody ones, uh, like the, what was it called? The English Gent, the Pine Needle, and my woody smells. But these two, the Chevron Fella and the Handlebar Joker, not a scent that I would have gone out and bought myself, but they are bloody good smells. Now, obviously, I can't score it a complete 10 out of 10. Well, I could do I can score it whatever I want to and however I decide, and in my opinion. But nine is really good. Really good, surprised at the scents, the smell really nice. I would recommend guys going out and giving this stuff a try, even if you just go out and get the sample pots in order to try those. Really nice, works well, smells nice, awesome stuff. So thank you very much, Twisted Moustache, for sending those through. I really appreciate that because you've opened my brain up to different smells because I was having smells that was kind of like, oh, don't particularly like this, but these scents on here are that good. It has kind of opened and broadened my horizon on different things that I try as opposed to just going out and finding my normal one. So thank you very much for doing that for me. Like I say, I will be posting links down to the Twisted Moustache down below their Instagram, Facebook, and their website where you can go and have a look at these guys. And I suggest you do, because it is fantastic stuff. Thank you guys for watching another one of my reviews. Um, I shall do another one as soon as I go out and buy something or something else turns up through the door. And thank you guys. Please feel free to like, share, whether you share, I don't know or not, on Facebook, comment and subscribe. I'm going to be doing lots, lots more of these videos and I'm interested to hear your comments of what you think so far because I'm trying my best. I'm getting old. I don't know particularly what I'm doing in order to kind of like fancy graphics and stuff like that. So you're not interested in that. You just want to see me talk about products that I get through and give you an honest opinion about them. So that's what I'm doing. But I do appreciate anyone that comments down below. Thank you guys. Hope you all have a wonderful evening. Please, please make sure you check out the Twisted Moustache. Take care of each other, love each other, keep on growing those beards, and I hope to catch up with you soon on the next video. Thank you guys, take it easy. Thank you.